France is finally reopening, the shops are reopening, galleries, museums, and we're out in Cannes today just to have a little stroll and explore. I've been to Cannes, the kids have been to Cannes before, but it's just so nice to actually be out doing something. I'll take you on this little trip with us. very windy and we're wearing masks that's why I'm not filming and talking and I just wanted to show you around that's the castle Chateau du Camp that's Main Street I don't think there are any cars here it's lovely to see it's so lively we haven't been here since we moved because there was no point coming all the way here we live about 15-20 minutes drive away from Caen but it's a town definitely worth visiting in my opinion. I love it. It's beautiful. And the terraces are open as of this Wednesday. I'm filming this on a Saturday, but from Wednesday the 19th of May, terraces reopened in France and everybody's very, very excited about it and it's all full. It's getting really, really busy now, like stressful busy after all the closures and restrictions to be able to be around so many people. I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> but it's still nice to see. It's so lively. It hasn't been like this in over seven months, I think. All the terraces and shops have been closed for six or seven months in France. So yeah, everybody has taken advantage of the first weekend. And this used to be an absolutely beautiful carousel. I'll try and put a picture on the screen now that I have from the previous years and now it's all like flashing lights and all the cartoon characters and it used to be one of those beautiful carousels like you see in Paris with horses and carriages so it was stunning I don't know why they changed it for this just with these views it's stunning here the kids will be happy anyway probably even more happy than if it was with horses and carriages Like everybody is out enjoying themselves even though it's windy and there's rain and storms on the forecast it doesn't stop people I am shocked how busy it is no masks well people are walking with masks and then coming to sit at the restaurant but no masks obviously so it's intense Found a little park for the kids just downtown and just trying to relax a little bit after all the crowds I have no idea what's going on in my head because it's been so windy and it's been windy for the last few days windy and rainy it's been quite intense and we didn't really get out of the house and finally we're out of the house even though it's windy and potentially rainy a bit later but it's nice to see places opening up <laughs> really stressed I was just telling Oli that it's just so unusual it's been over a year having people like walking right past you like really really close even though everybody's wearing masks and just terraces all open and it's very very busy everywhere 
few shops. We didn't go inside any shops today. We have been to some shops actually in the last couple of days and it's been really nice and normal. It's not been super busy, it's been great. But like the terraces, the French take it seriously. <laughs> Everybody's out, doesn't matter what the weather's like or anything. It's quite fun to see and maybe one day I'll be comfortable enough going out for even a drink. I'm not comfortable, I'm, I really am not. Uh, but it's good to see other people <laughs> enjoying themselves and it's nice to see that potentially the pandemic is going away and people are relaxing a bit more. It's good to see that. I wish I could show you a bit more of Caen because it's a really, really beautiful city and I hope I'll come back before we move down south. Um, but yeah, that's just as much as I could see today with my little camera walking around the super busy streets. It's like literal city center right here by the Chateau and all the main streets where the carousel is. Um, but it's already very, very pretty. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Give it a big like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all again next time.